Hi, I'm Marissa, student pharmacist. Hi. What's your name? Mrs. Dubar. Okay, are you the patient picking up today? Yes. Okay, um, I just want to take a few minutes to go over your new medications. Do you have a few minutes to sit down and go over these? Sure. Okay, I just want to make sure that you get the most benefit and avoid any unwanted side effects. And uh, just feel free to stop me anytime if you have any questions, okay? Okay. So I see you're picking up uh, three new medications today. Uh, what did your doctor say these are for? Um, for my blood pressure? Yeah, okay. So these are actually prescribed for hypertension. That's just basically a fancy word for high blood pressure. So high, uh, high blood pressure left untreated can lead to um, like heart attack and stroke. So it's very important that you take these medi medications the way that your doctor prescribed them. Um, you also want to avoid salty foods such as like deli meats and canned soups and pickles and uh, start eating things like fresh vegetables and fruits. You can also start working out and exercising a little bit. Uh, you can start doing like 30 minute brisk, brisk walks about three or four times a week and then just work your way up as you're comfortable with that. Sounds doable. Um, do you smoke at all? No. Okay. If you were a smoker, that's one of the main ways that we say that can help lower people's blood pressure. So just um, don't start smoking. Okay. <laughs> so what uh, concerns do you have before we start talking about the medications? Not concerned right now. Okay. So we're going to take the medications one by one. Again, you can stop me at any point if you have questions, okay? Okay. So the first medication we have is hydrochlorothiazide. It's also called uh, microzide or uh, HCTZ. So how did your doctor tell you to take this medication? Um, I think during the daytime. Okay, uh, yeah, it's uh, he, he pre prescribed 25 milligrams by mouth once a day. Um, I recommend taking it in the morning. Um, this works by uh, increasing your urine output, so it can cause you to go to the bathroom a lot more. So if you take it at nighttime, it could cause you to get up to have to go to the bathroom. So I recommend taking it um, probably first thing in the morning. So some side effects that you might experience with this would just be like a dry mouth, uh, maybe some dizziness because it is lowering your blood pressure. So when you stand up, just stand up a little bit slower, uh, maybe drink a little bit more water to prevent that dry mouth. Um, some drug interactions, um, antirhythmics like dofetilide. Are you any on any medications like an antirhythmic? Just these three. Okay, so if your doctor were to prescribe anything else, just let him know all the medications you're on that way. Um, he can make sure there's no interactions with those drugs. Okay. Um, do you have any gout or anything like that? Nope. Okay, so gout is an issue with the feet, um, the toes mainly, so that uh, HCTZ can worsen that, so we just wanna double check. Uh, what questions do you have about uh, hydrochlorothiazide? I don't have any questions about that one. None? Okay. So the next medication is lisinopril. Uh, how did your doctor tell you to take this one? Oh, he told me to take that one by now. By mouth, okay. So this uh, medication is also called Zestril. Uh, you're right, it's also taken by mouth. He wrote uh, 10 milligrams once daily as well. Uh, this one's also for your blood pressure. Um, this one basically prevents your blood, uh, blood vessels from constricting. So you can take this one at this, uh, also at the same time as your hydrochlorothiazide. I recommend taking it in the morning as well. Uh, just take it at the same time every day. You can take it with or without meals. Just be consistent the way you take it. Um, one of the most common side effects you can see with lisinopril is like a dry hacking cough. Um, some people will get it, some people won't. Um, it doesn't bother everyone. Just make sure that you keep taking your medication until you talk to your doctor if you do develop this because it might just be a cold or something else going on. Um, like I said, it doesn't happen to everybody. Um, it usually resolves after you discontinue the medication and it happens within the first few months of be beginning the medication. Um, so yeah, just if, if it does happen and it's really bothersome, just let your doctor know and he can take care of it for you. Um, some interactions that might happen with lisinopril is um, if you take potassium supplements over the counter, uh, you don't wanna take those because it can cause some issues. So do you take any um, herbals or anything like that over the counter? I eat bananas. You eat bananas. That should be fine as long as you're not taking um, supplements that just say potassium because that's just too much potassium. So if you ever take anything over the counter, um, you'll want to let your doctor or your pharmacist know to just double check that there's no interactions going on. Okay. Um, also, I see that you're pretty young and in your prime. Do you plan on getting pregnant anytime soon? Not in the cards right now. Okay. Um, well, this, this medication also can cause some issues with um, the unborn fetus. So if you plan on getting pregnant, let your doctor know and he will have to switch this medication, okay? Okay. 
so what questions do you have about lisinopril? Just before I drop the bananas. Okay. So the next uh, medication we have is amlodipine. Uh, how did your doctor tell you to take this medication? Oh, I don't remember that one. You don't remember this one? Okay, so this is the last medication he prescribed for you. It's also called Norvasc, and this one is also for your high blood pressure. Uh, he prescribed 2.5 milligrams taken by mouth once daily. Um, I actually recommend taking this one in the evening. When you're on multiple medications for high blood pressure, it's recommended that you take at least one of them in the evening before bed. So with this one, I would tell you to take this one before nighttime because it's not going to cause you to go to the bathroom like the hydrochlorothiazide would. Um, so the most common side effect that you'll see with amlodipine is maybe like some swelling of your ankles or your feet. Um, if this happens and you also start getting like short breath or you feel like flushing or really like hot skin, um, that's kind of like an emergency and I would let your doctor know immediately if something like that were to happen. Um, some drug interactions would be like clarithromycin. So if you were to get sick, that's an antibiotic. So let them know that you're on amlodipine so that they don't prescribe that for you when you're sick. Okay. Um, some food interactions that you really want to avoid while you're on amlodipine is grapefruits, grapefruits or grapefruit juice. I don't know if you're into grapefruits. I know some people are in the mornings, but uh, just avoid that at all costs if you can. Uh, so what questions do you have about amlodipine? I think I'm good about that one, though. Okay. So with all three of these medications, you'll want to store them at room temperature, away from light and moisture, um, not in your bathroom cabinet or anything like that because it can absorb some of that moisture. So I recommend um, like a bedroom closet or dresser drawer or something like that. And again, with all three of these medications, you can take them with or without food. Just be consistent the way you take it every time. Um, if you miss any of the, do of the doses, um, you can take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the next dose, don't double up. Just take the next dose. So what did your prescriber tell you to expect these three medications? Like about how long till they start working? Um, he said it'd take a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Yeah, you'll actually start seeing your blood pressure changing within just a couple days, and you'll see maximal effects within just a few weeks. So um, I don't know how often your doctor told you to check your blood pressure. Did he tell you? Um, he said something about like a log or something. Yeah, so he probably wants you to keep um, like a book of your blood pressure readings. I actually recommend checking your blood pressure twice a day. So first thing in the morning when you wake up, before you take your hydrochlorothiazide and your lisinopril and before you eat anything, you'll want to sit down um, with your back straight and your feet flat on the floor. You'll get your automated blood pressure cuff and you'll take a reading. Um, you'll write that down. Then you'll wait about 30 seconds. You'll do it again and you'll take the average of those. You'll write that down with the date and the time. Then you'll do that again at nighttime before bed. Then whenever you go to your doctor's office, you'll just take those with you. And that way he can adjust your medications for you. Okay. And um, that's something that you'll probably have to keep doing um, just for medication uh, dose adjustments. These are medications that you'll probably have to be on for most of your life. Um, with diet exercise, you might be able to get rid of maybe one or two of these medications, but this is a chronic disease state that you'll probably have to be managing for the rest of your life. Um. So what problems do you see yourself having while taking these medications? No, I think I can remember them all. Okay, so now that I've given you all the important information, I just want you to repeat back some of the important things just to make sure that I got the important information to you. So explain um, how you're going to take these three medications every day. Um, so I take the amlodipine at night. And then and I take that one that starts with an H in the morning so I don't pee at night. And I take the little syrup in the morning, too. Yeah. The one with the H is the hydrochlorothiazide. Okay. That's... Yeah, and they're all just once a day, so it should be pretty easy to remember. And they're just one tablet. Okay, so what uh, foods and what supplements should you avoid? Um, so I'm not supposed to take any, like, potassium supplements, mm -hmm. right? And then, oh, was a fruit? The grapefruit. Yeah, grapefruit. Fruits. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, so those are just the main points I wanted you to remember. Um, so what questions do you have for me? Um, when's my next refill? Uh, your next refill will be in 30 days. Okay. Um, your doctor, you'll go back to your doctor probably in about two weeks or whatever he told you. He might have some dose adjustments based on those blood pressure logs. So just if he changes the doses on you, then your refill might be sooner than that. Okay. Um, but our contact information is right here on all the bottles. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask us or talk to your doctor. Um, but yeah, thank you for your time. Um, 